This JTV News Update is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Digital BVI, Cyril B, Romney Tertola Pier Park, Simply Secure, Gumptions Land and Sea Tours, Nagico Insurances, and Envy Styles Nail Salon, Spa, and Barbershop. I take my health seriously. I still make time to exercise at age 62. And I go at it hard. My health and well-being matters to me. No one can do it for me, but me. Get vaccinated. Let's fight COVID-19 together. I am Deborah Maddox, Mrs. Classy 2021. Stop. Think. Think. Before you act. Before you act. Think before you act. Promoting vaccination to fight against the coronavirus in the British Virgin Islands has seen the public and the private sectors doing a number of things, one being offering monetary incentives. This was even at the level of the Minister for Health and Social Development, Honorable Carvin Malone, who at one stage sponsored meals to persons. Cash and other incentives to vaccinate are steadily growing trends around the world. Closer to the British Virgin Islands, the U.S. Virgin Islands $1 million lottery, Antigua and Barbuda land raffle, with a significant amount of AstraZeneca on hand closing to the expiration date, Honorable Malone is considering another incentive scheme. According to a social media post by the minister last night, June 7, 2021, quote, Vaccine Incentives $20 lunch voucher in the BVI are peanuts compared to the U.S. Virgin Islands $1 million in raffle prices and a free land distribution in other jurisdictions. A number of BVI businesses are seeking permission to hold private intra-company giveaways to employees being vaccinated during the month of June. What do you think? Should the BVI government offer monetary incentives to encourage individuals to vaccinate? It is a global challenge. Countries that want vaccines cannot get them and other countries that have vaccines don't want them. End quote. Honorable Malone told JTV News that businesses seeking to offer the incentives are primarily those in the hospitality and marine services sector. But he noted, quoted, Government is yet to reach a position on these issues, but considers the private sector best suited to undertake such ventures. End quote. With this JTV News update, Kathy Richards. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official bank of paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us, a bank that gives where it matters the most, for you, for our community, and a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Stop. 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 Think. Think. Before you act. Before you act. Think before you act. Our reliance on digital systems has opened new vulnerabilities to sophisticated cyber attacks. Simply Secure's security management solution helps overcome these challenges. Our service includes 24 7, 360 degree protection for all computers and servers with automatic restoration security audits, and penetration testing. Don't wait for disaster to strike. Contact us at info at simplysecuregroup.com.